I'd like for you to take a few minutes to get yourself comfortable. Possibly you might want to take off your shoes and you can do that too. And I really don't know just what your eyes want to do at this moment. You might want to find a spot on the wall to look at comfortably, not staring at anything, but just allowing it to occupy the center of your visual field and wondering what is going to happen next. You might feel more comfortable just closing your eyes in a peaceful sort of way. And either way you do it, I would just like for you to let yourself zero in on the idea of just being comfortable. And there have been many times, many places, many situations where you have felt so comfortable that nothing else mattered except that comfort. And you might think of them now. And let your subconscious mind present to you one such situation where you really experienced the sense of physical and mental comfort. And you can recall and re-experience all the sensations, the sights, the sounds, the feelings, which go with being extremely comfortable. And you can recall when you first experienced feeling profound relaxation, covering your body, the feeling of every muscle in that part of your body, just loosening up and just letting go and lying flat like a rubber band. Very deeply relaxed and very likely that part of your body that needed the relaxation most will re-experience it first. And the feeling of every nerve in that part of your body becoming very quiet, peaceful, not doing any more than is absolutely necessary. And you can wonder what direction that relaxation is going to move through your body. Whether you experience it all at once, like a flow of comfort peacefully moving through you. And soon you get that feeling that you don't even have to be aware of it anymore. You can simply allow yourself to become part of that relaxation as it becomes part of you. And it will be very interesting for you to discover for yourself that you don't even need to listen to me. Because what your conscious mind does now is not at all important. Maybe your conscious mind just wants to curl up in a corner and go to sleep for a while. Or go as far away as it likes. The way you did as a kid in school when you sat in the classroom and looked out the window and allowed your mind to drift away as far away from the classroom as it could. Some place you'd rather be and you lost track of what was being said and it didn't matter because your subconscious mind was picking up everything which was being said as it is doing now. And your subconscious mind is here with me and it can hear me and respond in its own time, in its own comfortable way. You can enjoy whatever it is you're experiencing and right now you can enjoy whatever sensations, heaviness or lightness, warmth or coolness and let them become part of your relaxation and comfort. You can go as deeply as you need to at this time for whatever it is your subconscious mind wants to do to help you enjoy this experience. 
and you might enjoy that experience of going so deeply into trance that it seems that you are just all mind without a body, a mind floating in space and time, completely free, able to move whenever and wherever it wants to go. And I wonder what your subconscious mind wants to explore right now, what doors it wants to open, perhaps taking a look through the filing cabinets in the corner of that marvellous data processing system that is your mind. Search through the files and examine things that stay the way they are, things that need to be updated, what needs to be erased, what items can be eliminated. And it is very comforting for you to discover for yourself that you can really let go of what you don't need and your subconscious mind can do this in its own time and in its own way. And you can continue to rest even more comfortably just knowing you can rely on your subconscious mind to do the things that need to be done. You can begin to explore your capabilities that you never had suspected you had which have been there all the time and find out for yourself a very deep sense of just who and what you are and what you are capable of doing all those things perhaps you just weren't aware of them before but your subconscious mind can make them available at the time that you need them that's right as you continue drifting along very comfortably, wherever you are in time and space. Just enjoying the restfulness of not having to do anything in particular right now. And I wonder if you might begin to notice some change in the atmosphere around you. Perhaps becoming more luminous, more transparent, spinning all around you in all directions as far as you can see and that atmosphere around you seems to be radiating a calmness you can experience with every one of your senses a calmness moving all around you and all over you softly moving itself into every fibre of your being until you get the feeling that's all there is. Nothing else exists for you except that calmness. Deep sense of peace. Weightless suspension. And you feel all the pressures dissipate. Nothing to think about and absolutely nothing to do except to let yourself be and on an even deeper level experience a sense of your own being of who you are what you are capable of becoming more aware of your own inner resources and now you can anticipate the joy of discovering those resources and what you can do to make use of them to help yourself and help other people as well. And as you feel the chair underneath you and notice the temperature in the room, the feeling in your hands, you can allow your state of relaxation to go deeper. It is your time, time for you, for these moments. Nobody wants anything from you. Nobody needs anything from you. Allowing your mind to drift and dream. Feeling safe, like a blanket of bliss has been put over you. 
slowly inhaling, filling your lungs with life giving air, exhaling and going deeper into this wonderful state of being. That's right. And as you breathe deeply, you might consider how it would feel if you let go of the fear. The fear of the MRI scanner. The fear of the claustrophobia. Forever. How would it feel if you discover new ways of thinking about the problem? And you might consider what happens when you imagine yourself already transformed. Now try to feel the sensations of the fear of that enclosed space. Feeling safe, breathing deeply. Notice where you feel it in your body. Try to identify if it's a tension in your head, the knotting of your stomach, the racing of your heart. Perhaps it's something different for you. I don't know. Only you can identify this feeling. And with that thought and placing it in the body, one meaning you're totally calm and ten meaning you're not getting in there, what score do you give the sensation in your body? Breathing deeply in and out with this feeling in and out. Recognising that it is just a feeling, neither good nor bad, until a memory or experience is associated with it. It is just a feeling. Eventually, you're going to breathe it all out, because all things pass, eventually. And so, you are sitting in a cinema seat looking up at a blank cinema screen. Drift out of your body from that seat and back into the projection room at the back of the cinema. Looking through the projection room, you can see yourself sitting down there in the cinema, looking up at the screen. Stay in the projection room unless I say otherwise. Now switch on the projector and on the screen will appear a still image the first frame of a film. It is you standing outside a door. Stay in the projection booth, this is just a film. And watch yourself walk through that door and come out of the other side wearing a hospital robe. You see the MRI scanner and see yourself getting onto the bed, laying on it, getting prepared by the nurse. You see yourself feeling the feeling and it is just a feeling. Having the scan, getting up and walking through a door at the opposite side of the room. Close the door behind you. Your clothes are waiting for you. You get dressed and leave. Continue to run that film until you are somewhere else entirely away from the hospital Everything calm, everything relaxed, and now pause the film there. Now in a moment, you're going to hear this sound. When you do, I want you to rewind that movie incredibly fast, like you've hit the rewind search. Literally a couple of seconds doing everything backwards, walking backwards, going through the scanner backwards, until once again you see yourself standing outside that first door. The whole movie backwards, backwards, backwards. That's right. And now this time you're going to run the film as a cartoon. Everything in it will be cartoon-like. It's a cartoon hospital with a cartoon nurse with exaggerated features. Everything brightly coloured and looking very silly. The sillier the better. 
stay in the projection booth and run the cartoon now. You can see yourself walking through the door and getting onto the cartoon bed and into the cartoon MRI scanner. Watch yourself as you lay there feeling calm and safe, having the scan and then getting up to leave through the other cartoon door, putting on your bright cartoon clothes and leaving the hospital until you see yourself at home or at work safe and sound. Now pause the film. We're going to rewind it again. Now I want you to run the film again. See yourself walking into the cartoon hospital through the cartoon door and getting on the cartoon bed. Everything brightly coloured and as the scanner noises start, you see a cartoon thought bubble popping up from your head. Your cartoon thought has taken you to a festival with brightly coloured striped marquees dotted around a field. You look inside and you see a crazy rave going on. You see the ravers looking ridiculous in fluffy boots, dago clothing, candy chains around their arms and necks. They're dancing so fast to this industrial techno that they're grimacing and sweating and looking crazy. You stand there and you watch them as you listen to the noise and you see how silly they look. And the more that you try not to laugh, the funnier it becomes. The more you try not to laugh, the funnier it becomes. You stay in there for a few moments listening to the crazy noise with disbelief how people can dance to that and you laugh and laugh at the gruesome sights in front of you of the people raving and dancing faster and faster in their fluffy boots until the sounds change and you move into another marquee brightly coloured and again you see the ravers this time they're doing robotic type of dancing but they're going so fast they just look ridiculous they're waving their arms around in the strangest of angles they're waving their legs around, moving them so quickly to try and keep up to the beat. And you just laugh and laugh and laugh. And each time you hear a different sound, you move to another marquee and you laugh at the ravers inside. You watch them as they dance to the repetitive beats of these industrial noises, heads bobbing up and down, silly grins on their faces. People try to talk to you, but their voices are high pitched and you find that you can't stop yourself from laughing. The ravers dance faster and faster, looking more stupid every time. See their silly faces, hear their silly voices and watch their silly dancing. And watch as the music stops, the thought bubble pops and you leave the cartoon hospital and run the film until you're back at home or at work, safe and sound. Now pause the film. Now rewind everything again in just a couple of seconds. Backwards, 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 backwards. Now drift down from the projection booth into your cinema seat. Walk up to the cinema screen and look at that other you. Thank them for doing that for you. And then pull them out of the screen into your body with those new learnings and understandings. This will never bother you again. From today, the MRI scan will be easy. The harder you try to remember what it was like to feel the irrational fear and anxiety, the more distant those fears will become. The harder you try and remember how it felt, the more distant those feelings will become. And with your eyes closed and the thought of getting into an MRI scanner now on a scale of 1 to 10, where have those feelings gone now? Try to find them and find that you cannot. Every time you think of that old problem, then you will feel a sense of humour and relief that it's gone. And best of all, you don't even have to think about this after a while because it will work out on its own. As you enjoy this deep relaxation, your unconscious mind can figure out exactly how it will make your life so much better. And now, 
for the next few minutes, you can allow yourself to relax even more deeply as your subconscious mind continues the important work it has started for you. Working to reach an even deeper understanding. And whenever your subconscious mind is finished with what it needs to do at this time, it will find its own way of letting you know. And in your own time, at your own pace, and only when your subconscious mind is ready for you to do so, you can begin to drift back quietly, easily, from wherever it is you have been, reorientating yourself to this time, this place, and becoming aware of feeling. Very refreshed, alert, comfortable, and with a very deep sense of having accomplished something of tremendous importance just for you. And you won't do it until your subconscious mind is ready for you to do so.